in this chapter, I just want to go through how you can actually fetch the password that you want to set for an Azure virtual machine from another service that is known as the Azure Key Vault. So the Azure Key Vault is a service in which you can actually store your secrets such as your passwords, you can store your certificates and you can store your encryption keys. I'll quickly just go through the process of the creation of the Azure Key Vault first. So if I go on to all resources here, if I hit on create, I'll just hide this. So I'll search for the Key Vault service. I'll choose that. I'll hit on create. Here I can choose an existing resource group. Here I have to give a unique vault name. I'll choose the location of North Europe. Here in terms of the days to retain a deleted vault, I'll just specify it as seven. I'll go on to the access policy. Here you can leave everything as it is. You can go on to networking. You can go on tags. You can go on to review and create. And you can go ahead and then hit on create. Let's come back once you have the Azure Key Vault in place. Once you have the Key Vault in place, if you go ahead on to the resource, here, if you go on to your secrets, you can actually create a new secret. So for example, you can give the name of the secret as VM password. And in the value, you can put, let's say, Azure at the rate one, two, three, what should be the password for the Azure virtual machine? Now, obviously you can have much more secure passwords than just Azure at the rate one, two, three, but this is just to give you an example. So then you can go ahead and create the secret in this key vault. And then you can use, let's say, Terraform to now fetch the value of the secret during the creation of the Azure virtual machine. Now, another important note is when you go on to the vault, there's something known as access policies. So here by default, when it comes to my Azure admin account, I already get permissions over the secret. So you have separate permissions for the working with encryption keys for the working of secrets, which we just created, and for the working of certificates. So these access policies also need to be set. So ideally, we are running our Terraform configuration file. Remember, has the Terraform application object. I hope you haven't forgotten about this. So in the authentication, our Terraform application object is actually authenticating onto our Azure account. So ideally, you will have to add an access policy. Here, you will choose the permissions for the secret. Let's say to go ahead and set the value of a secret. Then here in the principle, you will choose Terraform. So you'll first search for it. You'll choose a Terraform application object, hit on select, click on add, and then click on save. This will ensure that Terraform can actually fetch the value of the secret and then we can use a secret value as the password for the Azure virtual machine. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this key vault because we are going to create the key vault from our Terraform configuration file. Then we'll also ensure to have a secret there and then we'll fetch the value of the secret as the password for our Azure virtual machine. So for my existing Terraform template that I have, the Terraform configuration file, let me destroy all of the resources because we have to create the virtual machine again. Now let's come back once this is complete. Now, once this is done, I'm going to delete all of this and just add the code which had seen in a Terraform configuration file early on. This is just to make it very, very simple. I don't have a baby sets. I don't have custom script extensions. Here, I'm just creating a simple Azure VM which has the attachment of a public IP address. It's that simple. Now, all I want to do is I want to ensure that the password which we mentioned for the admin user is picked up from the Azure Key Vault resource. So let me scroll down first. I want to ensure that I first add the code. This is for the creation of the Azure Key Vault resource. Here I'm trying to give a unique Key Vault name. 
Here I'm giving the location and the resource group. Now I need to get the tenant ID and I need to get what is the details of our current application object. So in the access policy, we can actually use these statements to ensure that we get our application object ID and then give it the required permissions. So I've just taken all of these permissions and this code from the Terraform documentation when it comes on to the creation of the Azure Key Vault resource. So we need to now add our data block in place. So I'll just scroll on top. And here all I need to do is I need to go on top. So this is before the resources. Let me add the data block. So here this is of the resource type Azure RM underscore client underscore config. And we just need to give a name and this will actually get the current credentials. And then we can use it in the creation of the Azure Key Vault resource. Then we scroll down. This is used for the creation of the secret in the Key Vault. Here I'm giving the name and I'm giving what is the value. Here I'm giving the ID of the Key Vault and I'm saying it depends on the Key Vault. Now let me ensure that there is also a dependency here on the resource group because this is an independent resource. Also, let me scroll on top. Now let's change the password. So here, let me change this. So the password is going to be fetched basically from here, our VM password. This is our secret. So place it here, getting the VM password and then getting its value. So this will be replaced by Azure at rate one, two, three. And here also let's ensure there is a dependency on the Azure Key Vault resource. And here let's ensure there's a dependency on the secret in the Azure Key Vault. What's the name? It is VM password. Let me save this. Let's go on to the terminal. Let me just clear the screen. Let's create a plan. Now here, let's hit on apply. And all this is doing, I said, is creating the Azure VM. The only difference is that now the password is now more secure. See, we're not specifying it anywhere here in the script. It is being fetched from the Azure Key Vault service has a secret. And this will just go ahead, create the Azure Key Vault, create all of our resources, and then deploy the Azure Virtual Machine.